Welsh lads, welcome to Oak Swamp. Firstly, as always, massive thanks to everyone who bought one of my lovely Oak Swamp t-shirts last time. Cheers, boys. Really appreciated. Talking of t-shirts, I'm going to be giving a couple of these bad boys away a bit later, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So if you follow the channel, you've probably been wondering where I've been for the last month. Well, myself and Sass went on a little holiday for a few days down in the West Country, and we had a lovely time. But we came back with a lurgy. I don't know if it was COVID or flu or what it was, but it knocked me out for three weeks. I soldiered on, and I got a few jobs done on the rat and took him down to Bewley Auto Jumble. So this is what happened. M27, Friday afternoon, and we're heading west. Right, so we've arrived down at Weymouth at see your caravans. How are you feeling in the caravan, Sass? Very relaxed. It's very touristy here. Yeah. It's not really our thing, is it, usually touristy, but we're we're enjoying it. It's like a, it's a, it's like a cruise, nearly. There's a bit on a missed pair of pants down there. They're not mine. Not really boom town, but you know. So today we went for a, a long walk down the beach and that was fun, wasn't it? Yes. And now we're going out for some more fabulous entertainment down the clubhouse. Can't wait. Last night's band left me in awe. In awe of them. No, honestly, they were shite. They were shite. <laughs> Okay, so we're driving back and I notice all this stuff out on the road. There's a bit of a Riley here, yeah? look at the size of him. And there's some other project, I like this. This is an MGA and it's on a, on a Lotus frame there. Eh? I'm interested in buying that actually. But I got chatting to the dude and I found these two. 19 inch wires on a four stud the right size for the leaf so how cool was that thanks a lot dude no problem at all you're a bloody gentleman yeah. <laughs> that's a model b isn't it yeah <laughs> oh my god that's got to sit in your lounge isn't it yeah that's cool as hell isn't it where did you find that a beauty i did pay a, a, lot, a lot of money for it is that a janetta or something <laughs> mx5 mx5 yeah um, and that's so we make the body kits that go on. Like you that. make the body kits? Yeah. Oh, that's cool as hell, man. <laughs> really froze it, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice one, dude. Nice to meet you. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be coming down to see Chris again, and we'll, we'll do some more on it later. <laughs> well, there you go. That was handy, wasn't it? Yay! What are the chances? I got Sam to measure the, the leaf stud pattern at home, and it was, it was about the same. Yeah. But, but it was only 20 quid. He said to me, how much do you, do you want to pay for it? I'm like, 20 quid? Because that's all I did want to pay for it, you know? As we're in Dorset, I've been meaning to come and see a mate of mine called Keith. Now, if you watched the whole Rat series, you might remember Keith. He had the mad trike with the uh, spark plug wires made out of barbed wire. The spark plug wires are barbed wire. This is insane, man. And here we are. But I'm going to get another gearbox off Keith now. How are you doing, oh, brother? Yeah, good. Got something for you, yeah. Just two bits, Pete. What you got new then, Mush? Oh, that's nice. I've got one of them motors at home. Oh, what is that? My new trike. You're that's joking the me. There's the chassis well. So this is going to be a trike, Mush? I saw the other trike. Oh, what, the mad one? Have you yeah, sold that? sold it to a mad bloke. He would need to be mad, it was a lunatic. This seems to have two gear sticks on it. Right. It's column change, because you've got your first and your last. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What back end? Um, I don't know yet. It's going, be, it's going to be twin wheel, whatever it is. There's your gearbox. Awesome. There's your gear stick. Excellent. There he goes. He sits all day long, he does. He loves it, doesn't he? Same as in the pub. You right, Ted? You right, Ted? Yeah, he's a good lad, isn't he? Where's his hat? 
I don't know if you saw his last one, but know. everything was a spanner, a oh, bit same of... Oh, again, same again, spanners gonna, and horseshoes. Yeah, you're just going to use a bit of everything. Change. No matter what I can find here. Yeah. What's going on there? Good lad. No expense. I'm going to put a link to the video where Keith's other creation was on, just down here, and then you can see exactly the nutty creation. How mad we get. Oh, yeah. Cheers, buddy. Nice no worries. Nice see to see you again, mate. Don't, what did he say? Don't buy it, build it. Get yourself a gadget, stand it, keep away from the wife. Peace and quiet, all whacked. Like that annoyed the kids doing that on the way home. You fed up, lads? Yeah, they got the right, um, they don't want to go anywhere else. Where should we go now? Should we go and pick something else up? So Can we get a trike? <laughs> Do you, want a, do you want a trike? Yeah. Right, so here are the wheels I got off of Chris. I said to Sass last night, I hope the bloke's a nice geezer, which he was. And I hope he would sell these and they be cheap, which they were. And they wanted to be 19s, because I got a big set of tyres for these. So now all they've got to do is fit. These are their tyres. And they're off a roller, apparently. But you see they've got masses of tread and there's not a crack on them. There's not a crack on them, I reckon it's just been stood up out of the light. Look at that. And they're really, really tall as well. Someone said in the comments, the leaf needs a bit of rake. And this is how I intend to do it. Let's hope they fit. Yeah, they've got... Him when he gets home, put these on. Absolutely superb. Now, you see those back tyres? They look pretty big on that. You know? Run this on eBay. Hopefully, it should work. 99p. Fair play to the Blake for sending it, really. Right, so we sussed it out. It's got a little rubber down here, which doesn't even reach this piece. So what I've done is stuck a couple of O-rings in there, down there, and it's just starting to pinch. And I think that stopped that oil leak. Right, I need some instant gasket. I'm working on about a quarter throttle at the moment, so everything's taking 75 times as long. Where is it? I don't know what I'm looking for. So while Brian does that, this is the work in progress. Anyway, well, this is rat in bits in the rain. But we are going out later in it because Brian's a effing genius and um, he will get it fixed. I will be helping, obviously. But I reckon that's done it. I reckon that'll do it. It's going to make it a little bit stiff to start with. What the matter? But what it'll do is it'll rub the, the rubber down until, you know. New gearbox is going to have a speedo that works. The other speedo worked for a little while, right? And then, and then it just snapped off. And then it just stopped. Piece of crap. The speedo in here goes from 0 to 30. Like that. Just, that's what it does. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever speed you're going, it's 0 to 30. But I kind of like that. It's some comfort in the belt. Not knowing how fast you're going. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. Right, this is how much gearbox oil I had left. <laughs> For fuck's sake. That's how much I had left on that. That's how much it was leaking. And this is as far as I got. The gearbox is kind of ready to go in, but the flu got the better of me yesterday. I wanted it done for today because there's a little car showing up the road, but apparently there's a car I need to see up there. What year is this? 31. Is it the motor 31? Yeah. Beautiful. How many litres? 3.3. 3.3. Yeah, and what sort of horsepower do they say? 
off the rolling road, I think we were hitting around 70, if I'm not mistaken, at the back wheels on the rolling road. Ooh, it's quite quick. That's flying, man. Yes, What's the story on the body? The body. Um, the hood, the, uh, sorry, the, uh, the yeah, bonnet. Yeah, hood's fine. Bonnet's custom made. Yeah. Um, the radiator shot is original 31 Sunbeam. As are the headlights and all the running gears, all the original 31 Sunbeam. 23.8 is the model. The, from the cowl to the tail, the body was a Le Mans Bentley, Bentley fabric body car. Bought it off a pair of trestles without the fabric at right. Bewley. It was so light, two guys could pick it up by carrying a pillow yeah, yeah. on the back of the truck. So we put it on the truck, took it to the garage, lifted it up, carried it up through the garage, easy as you please, yeah. lifted it over this engine, over the steering column, down onto the frame, mm -hmm. took a look at it, fits pretty good at the front, fits really good over the arch of the frame. I looked and I said, yeah, hey, will it come my way about two inches? Yeah. No, it can't. It's got to come my way two inches. You had to cut it down in the middle and make it wider by four inches. Nice. But hey, it gives you a little bit of elbow. It, it, it looks as though it grew there, though, doesn't it? Yeah, but that's it's a, it's a little Yeah, little it grew little. there, man. I like the way it's tucked up at the back as well, where it hasn't got all this malarkey going on. It's all, it's all in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it's really low as well. My very good friend Jim took a look at the way this bodywork curves up. Yeah. And he says, I cannot allow you to have a hood that hangs out over the back. Yeah. So he devised uh, a hood system that when it, when it's up, it comes up, it follows the line on the body, it yeah. comes up, and then comes back down towards the windscreen. And when it's down, it all touches behind the seat. Cool. It's in there. Oh, I can't get that in the For a liability, what I've done with this one is um, I actually put larger than standard wheels on it. Yeah. It's supposed to have 19 inch wheels. I mean, for driving around Britain, that's going to be good enough. Yeah. But if you're going to go into the wild, you want ground clearance. Yep. Um, so I put some 21s on, so you get a bit, a bit better clearance. And these are brand new, right? Those are brand new, yeah. I don't think you're getting more stuff. Oh, this feels massive. Smooth, isn't it? Look at the size of them. Going for a run in this. In the sun. Are you going to get in the back? Um, <laughs> this makes some space. Am I getting in the back? Yeah, get in there, Mush. Neil told me about this this morning. He said, You've got to come up here. You've got to come up here. Now, this is as smooth as silk. This hydraulic brakes, is it? Yes. Thanks a lot, dude. You're welcome. Much appreciated. But do come around and see me. You're, I'd love to. You can come and see all the all the junk I've got. <laughs> it'd be a great pleasure. And I'll take you out with some of mine stuff. Thank you. It'd be great. Cool. Nice one. You like us? Thanks a lot. See you, mate. Yeah, man. If you're gonna have a rev, this is the one to have. <laughs> nice. 1965 Riviera. Nice Monday. I'm gonna put the gearbox back together. It's all ready to go now. Down your bastard. Oh. 
Is good? Yeah. That was easy, wasn't it? Right, that's all the gearbox back in. And it appears to be all good. I've got to get some fuel in it before I can try it out on a road test. While I'm here, I've taken this floor panel out. There's lots of wildlife in here, look. But what I'm going to do is take this exhaust off. I've had it poking down here. Which is all very well, but where it's so close to the ground, anything that's on the ground gets blown up. And the nice little sound it's got gets muffled. <laughs> I think I'm going to do is make it a bit shorter as well because it just felt a little bit a bit tricky to get out. Right, so what I'm going to do is cut that box down a bit and have him coming out about there. And I'm not putting that pack in back in, so he's going to be a bit more grunty. I'm looking forward to see how he sounds because these little motors are quite raspy when they're allowed to. Right, so I've got to cut that off. Just, uh... By making this it's all sure it's made it much easier to put in and out. Right, it's all connected up. So I better give it a go, and I. I can't remember how to start here. Okay, tip jar. Massive thanks to all the lads who went to the tip jar, and they are as follows. Mark Gervais, Jonathan Fallowell, Jan Samuels, Stefan Meink, sorry Stefan, I know I've messed that up, Gary Edwards, Chris Beadsmore, Graham Woolgar, Anthony Clegg, Michael Everson, Peter Kendrick, and our man down under, Rangy Man. Rangy Man! Cheers, boys. Also, another dude came straight up to me at Bewley and gave me 20 quid to go in the tip jar. I can't remember who your name is, but thanks a lot, mate. Really appreciate it, and I needed it that day, I tell you. So, you man, 60 mil we want. You'll see what this is in a minute. I intended to be working on the rat all week, but yeah, obviously I've done very little. Do you guess what this is for yet? Light on the top. Yeah? So you can guess by the time I get it on there. Right, Ow. what this is going to be is hot for a minute. I don't know what this is for. It's to make this. So you don't need a spanner. All you do is you wind that in. All that does, it gives you a centre. And when you're working on this, it's so much easier to... <laughs> it's a little bit wonky. But I've only packed it. But it'll do for today. There you go. Good. I'm going to do the same on that one. So the old channel's getting going now. We've just passed 5,000 subscribers. And as we have, because 5K rhymes with giveaway, I'm giving away a couple of my T-shirts. A black one and a grey one. So I want you to leave me a comment. The one we find funniest and most entertaining or most heartfelt or whatever I'm going to get Sass to look for them with me and uh, the first two we like we'll get one of these lovely t-shirts so don't forget, get a comment down there and just make it how you want this should be easy because there's a load of boys who always leave me a load of nutty comments every week anyway nice one, ok on with it Thomas Beaver tells not quite on the road at the moment so I've 
had to buy this little trailer. I'm going to take the rat down on him. I was going to drive him down, but so it's first thing on, it's absolutely tipping down. I've got no choice but to be out in it today. I'm still not there yet. I just got to strap this on. I've got no van, so I've got no tow bar, so I'm relying on everyone else. Greg's taken over for me, fortunately, because I've got no tow bar. Thanks a lot, mate. He's keeping well away from me, though, because I'm lurgied up. Back, back. <laughs> we're, we're taking a separate vehicle, but I'll see you over there, Liz. Well, the trailer seems to be doing all right. Gonna wheel out my grandpa. It's time that I cleaned out his bed. Gonna wheel out my grandpa, gonna pick the maggots from his head. Cause it's a special day for grandpa. Oh, he a body mouthful of well, it's Friday and the sun's out at last. I've had a bit of a morning because I was gonna be taking the Rover 14 horsepower chassis to Beaulieu. I put him onto the trailer and it's way too big, way too heavy, so instead I'm gonna take loads of little bits of auto jumble. Right, well there it is. Instead of that, I'm taking this lot. This is going down on the back of Neil's car, which is over there. And then we're gonna go over to Sass's dad and pick up the rat and then head on down to Bewley. So we did three miles. And I don't know we did three. <laughs> we did three miles and we've had to tie everything back on again. Safety check. Now you, you might have noticed Neil got peers on a lot of the shows just recently. When I played in bands, all my mates were all like fellow band members, but getting into this vintage car, I needed a vintage car mate. Wait, you're trying to call me old? Yeah. So I went on vintage car Tinder. Was that what it's called? I think so, yes. Vintage car Tinder, and Neil had long hair, and he looked the most like a lady, so I, I picked him. With a hat. <laughs> There's a stall vehicle ahead. Uh -huh. Let me see you in that hat again. Look like matey's dog. When I get him all the tea, now I'm remembering it's stupid. Uh... Okay, so I'm in the rat, and uh, let's see what we do. Sam Moat Museum. I'm going to go to the uh, auction. Bonham's got an auction. That's really cool. Uh, apparently 167 ish cars and obviously the auto jumble and all that. And I've got a list of stuff to get for mine and I'm really looking forward to it. Actually. You alright, mate? Hi, mate. We lost him on the way out here, but he's still there. Did it come undone? No, it just a bit loose and baggy. Right, let's get in there. I might come and borrow it for a cup of tea in a minute. Have you got something to warm it up with? I've got a cooker. Oh, you got a cooker? Oh, yeah. I just got no kettle or water or tea. <laughs> I've seen that on YouTube. Yeah, man. Is it YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, nice to see you, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. You drive it here? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, long way. No, it's only, I, I took it to Totten hey. and drove it from Totten. I didn't want to go on the motorway, but it's fucking horrible. Yeah, you're so vulnerable, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. lovely on the country lanes, though. Yeah. Well, good fun on the country lanes. Yeah. I had trouble keeping up with him. Did you? Really? 
my Which speedo driver come up here? Do you know my speedo used to do that? <laughs> yeah. It does 30, uh, 25. It's very good. huge man come out somewhere. Hi, how are you? I'm very good. Are you? Good, good. Yeah. This has been uh, interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you got many people on? Um, yeah. Oh, I like this. Dale's fell over. So we're all sat around behind the rat, and guess who turned up? Oh, yeah. Ted's here. How are you doing, How mate? You doing all right? Yeah, good Cheers. to see you. What have you... a good day. Yeah, we're having a lovely day. So, what have you been buying, Ted? Tools mainly. Oh, will you show us what you got? Because it's interesting for a man who's got a machine shop, what is he going to buy? Uh, well, he wouldn't oh. be interested in that. It'd probably be. Oh. Hey, well, anyway. He even comes in a box, look, you know. Oh, yeah, you know. how much was that? Yeah. 15 quid? Bloody hell, that's cheap. They're that wobblers. Was a lot. Oh, I they... thought it was 15 pound each, and he said, No, you can have the lot for oh, 15. little things. They're wobblers. Little yeah. pigs. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> getting yeah. stuff true. That is yeah. a bargain, mate. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? 15 quid, beauty. When you think about it, you could buy two burgers for 15 quid here, and they'd be shit. It's all tools. Ah, uh, you bought some tape tools. as well. Is that for keeping the labs in order in the shop. Well, yeah, you never know. Tying them up at night. Files. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's a vicious bastard, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Vicious bastard. Yeah. <laughs> You've got that? Oh, frogs. Raspy He's a raspy bastard, yeah. And you get cancer yeah. sinks? Oh, look at that. Yeah. How much were they? 20, 28 quid, what they nice, though, We do use them. What have you bought, Neil? <laughs> That's it, is it? No, I've got some other stuff, but the tape measure is because I need to measure a car because I'm like the size of it. Did I see you had a lottery number? <laughs> I had a beer and went to Bonhams. Oh, dear. Now, we've made an agreement that Neil doesn't buy anything <laughs> without my say so. Cause Although I do ignore everything Brian says. <laughs> And Ted's got a shirt on. Uh, lovely to see you, Ted. Are you going home now then, Mush? Yeah, I will be on my no, way now. Fine. Yeah. Well, we'll see you in the shop, Mush. Have a good day. So Tom's brought his Rover. This is the Rover Dazzle welded up the other day. Lovely V8, in it? Yeah, and that's looking good. That's up for sale. She's brand new. Stefan's arrived. And what have you bought, Stefan? Oh, tools for the workshop. Ooh, Stefan's from Hamburg. He leaves me a message. Ooh, that's a just for. Oh, I have a Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Nothing else. It's electromagnetic. Yeah, electromagnetic, yeah. yeah. Dial indicator, whatever they are. How much was it? Tiny machine. Is that 125? Oh, no. Good, good. <laughs> 20. 20? Yeah. Looks good at Bewley. Look at him. Very good. Do you like it? Yes, what a car. If, Brilliant. If you Brilliant. could drive it on a proper road, it's a different cat of fish. Going out, we? We're going out uh, in the town, lads. Wow. So, how's your day been now? Uh, I walked about 10 miles. Did you? Yeah, and I haven't left the place. Have you bought anything? No, nearly. Nearly bought a tea. Me, me and Tom had a very relaxed day at the stall Chile. and did nothing. Oh, RD 250, look at that. Coffin. Coffin? It's a coffin, that's what they call it. Because of the tank, it's a coffin tank. Oh my yeah, but you find another one. Everyone threw them up the road. <laughs> that looks a bit of you, Neil. Bold, ambitious, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday morning. And it was a good night last night. 
Feeling a bit better this morning. Not a lot, but we're going to sit in the sun all day and see how today goes. using this tea place all weekend so this poor lady see me first thing in the morning looking my best haven't you i have every morning but bright and breezy but i promised to bring the rat down and i find out now her husband's right into hot rods so Germans near us, right? And I entertained them all day. They helped me put the tent up. I took them for a ride in it. Yeah. And everything was good. And then the evening come, and they all got pissed up. And they were out there trying to hotwire it, fucking to take it for a spin. Oh, what the fuck did you do? We gone for a ride. Well, mate, I lost the plot. I nearly got thrown out. <laughs> Christian is escorting us off. And mine's that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's been bollocking us all weekend. It's been fun. <laughs> Cheers, mate. I will check down for it. I got blue tack now. <laughs> we, we could have been stuck together. Lunchtime on Sunday, we woke up now, haven't we? Just about. We have a couple of visitors from Canada. Paul. Paul and Hello. Phil. And how are you guys doing? You both got my t-shirts on. We, we did. Do. Well, we uh, we uh, we we uh, bought the t-shirt and loved the channel. We loved the channel and bought the t-shirt. So Fantastic. That's it. Looking at all the fun that stuff that's going on and all the things that are being built and uh, nicely see that everything is percolated so well. How are you enjoying Beauty? Uh, it's wonderful. It always is, and it's really about getting together with everybody. Like when I make Brian, this is a great thing to do, and it's the, the best time that we have every year for car guys. It's. Uh, Great experience. We've been doing it for a lot of years. Yep, coming back every couple of years or so. Started with uh, just looking for parts, and now it's about looking at people and uh, hearing about them and the stories that they have and making those connections. I, I, I think it is really. This is more about the people yeah. than the parts. It has been this we, year. We, we been. were in there last night to late with uh, 10, 70 year old men who were getting drunk and all having a laugh. And that's what it's about. It's not about that. It was the noise complaints, I guess, that stopped it. Yeah, right? that would be. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. Everybody's good here. And you know, a lot of people said that Bewley will be affected by eBay and, and Facebook and Marketplace and all those kind of things, but uh, it really is the ultimate social network, getting together, like we say. With, it, there's no substitute for getting together with petrol heads and no, you know, I, I think hanging it is, out together. It's a petrol head heaven. So I've been chatting to these fellas all weekend and we're getting on like a house on fire and it's lovely to know that I have some people enjoying the channel over in Canada. Thanks a lot, guys. You're welcome, and remember, like and subscribe, and hang loose. You've been here all that time, Mush. Well, we've been sorting the world out, Dave, yeah. you see. <laughs> okay, well, it's Sunday afternoon, and it's been a really quiet day. You see, no one's out there at all. Look, everyone, everyone around here has been in the sun all day, and everyone is cooked. How you doing, lads? Cooked. 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 It was a hot one for not many people, wasn't it? We were going to have a disco in here this afternoon, but it's too hot, so... But I'm going to be following these boys around next time. It was lovely to have their company. Well done, mate. Cheers, lads. All the best. See you, mate. Ta-da, chat. There you go, that was Bewley Auto Jamble. Sorry about the poor coverage, but I'd like to say massive thanks to everyone who came down to see me. People come from all over wearing my shirts. It was brilliant. It was worth going just for that. 
Also, I'd like to say massive thanks to Garrett Royal. He walked right across Bewley with a pair of Morris 8 wheels for me. Fair play, mate. I did have some footage, but it was corrupt. So you'll be happy to know I'm feeling way, way better now. And as of tomorrow morning, I'm going to be going out and cracking on with my latest project, Relief. So if you're not subscribed at this point, make sure you hit the old subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment and a like. If you're feeling flush, leave me a couple of quid in the tip jar, or better still, buy one of my lovely Oak Swamp t-shirts, and I will catch you dudes here next time. Hang loose. You've been here all that time, Mush. Well, we've been sorting the world out, Dave, yeah. you see. You're just in time, actually. I, 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 beer. No, I want everyone to say rangy man. Is that all right? Rangy man? Can we do it sort of like a rangy man or something like that? <laughs> Are we doing a mosh pit? Is that what we're doing? A, a mosh pit of rangy man, yeah? I don't want to go against this one, though. I'm going to fly all the way around. I would watch that one. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what you know, I'm talking down, about? Boy. People who look Calm like down. people? You look like my friend Rob English. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's in prison right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. he's not. Uh, no, he's not. He's not. I won't come watch. out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do a rangy man? Rangy man. Okay. Rangy. Should we do it like a... Oh, right. it? I'll give you a one, two, three.